In this section, we'll look at parallel and perpendicular. First, we'll look at parallel. Parallel lines never cross. That means they have to have the same steepness. Remember that slope tells us about the steepness. So if they have the same steepness, they have the same slope. Now they must have a different y-intercept. If they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then they're really the same line. So parallel lines are different lines. They just have the same slope. So let's look at these two equations. The slope for this equation is 4. And the slope for this equation is negative 4. These are not the same slopes, so they are not parallel. Let's look at these. Now we can't see the slopes right away from here, so we'll have to do some work to get this into the right form. We'll subtract 6x from both sides for the first equation. And then we'll divide each piece by 3. So that gives us a negative 2x plus 3. So my slope here is negative 2. So let's do the same thing for the other equation. I'll subtract 8x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide each piece by negative 4. That gives me a positive 2x minus 2. The slope here is positive 2. Now again, these aren't the same sign, so they're not parallel. Let's look at this one. Same idea here. We're going to put it in the right format, so we'll start by subtracting 7x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide each piece by 5. That gives me a negative 7 fifths x plus 2. So my slope here is negative 7 fifths. So we'll do the same thing to the other equation. I'll subtract 14x. Then I'm going to divide both sides, or each piece, by 10. That gives me y. This one I'll reduce, so it gives me negative 7 fifths x plus 2. Now here, I have the same slope. But the problem is that these end up, the whole thing being, ends up being exactly the same thing. These are the same line, not parallel. Now we're going to look about how to write an equation of a line that's parallel to something. So we want it to be parallel to this. So what's my slope here? It's 2. Now parallel means use that same slope. So I'm going to use my point-slope form that we practiced in the last section. This is going to be my x1 and my y1 because I want my new line to have that point, And I'm going to use my slope of 2. So I have y minus y1 equals 2 times x minus x1. So let's do some cleaning up with these signs. Remember, this is really plus, and this is really plus. We'll distribute, and then I need to subtract 3 from both sides. And my equation of my new line is y equals 2x plus 1. These two lines are parallel. They have the same slope. Let's look at, that, look at this now. Here, I want it parallel to x equals 2. So let's think about what that x equals 2 looks like. Remember, x equals 2 is a vertical line that crosses the x-axis at 2. It's undefined slope, so we can't use our point-slope form. 
we wanted to contain this point one three so we have one this point like right here parallel to that would mean we also want it to go up and down now where is it crossing the x-axis this new line well it's crossing x at one so that's my equation of my new line if it's parallel to x equals two it has to be an x equals equation and this tells me that x is one So here we have parallel now to y minus 8 equals 0. Let's do a little bit of cleaning this up. Let's move that 8 to the other side. So we have y equals 8. Remember that's a line that crosses the y axis at 8. It's horizontal. Now they give me a new point. They give me this point 1, 5. And I want it to be parallel so I want this one to be horizontal. So where does this cross the y-axis? It crosses it at 5. So my new equation is y equals 5. If it's parallel to a y equals equation, it has to be a y equals equation. And this point tells me y is 5.